Yeah, drilling stainless steel does not sound pretty. We'll just mute the rest and make sure you wear your ear protection while you're actually doing the work. Stainless steel is a really hard metal, but following these simple steps you can drill through it easily. When drilling stainless steel, the things you want to remember are light and slow. When drilling with light pressure, you'll generate less heat with the bit. Less heat means that the bit won't lose its temper and then the bit won't get dull as quickly so you can cut through more stainless steel using the same bit. Drilling slowly also generates less heat because there's less motion so there's less friction which in turn is less heat. Finally to keep the heat down from friction another trick is to use transmission fluid. The transmission fluid helps lubricate the interface between the metals and it's a good indicator to when it's getting too hot. If you're pushing too hard you'll start to see smoke come out which means it's time to back off, add a little more oil to cool things down, and give it a second to cool, and then start again. As with anything, the right tool for the job makes a huge difference. For the drill bit, I'm using Milwaukee's Cobalt drill bits, which are especially made for drilling through stainless steel, and I'm using a drill press set on the slow speed, which in this case is about 640 RPM. Usually you can adjust the speed of the drill press by moving the belt that, drives, that goes between the motor and the drive pulley. The drill press also makes it really easy to keep everything lined up and all I have to do is keep it lubricated and keep a very slight amount of tension on the lever arm which drives the drill press down. So as I start to see it getting a little hot, I can just back off, put a little more oil in and then come back down. Everything lines up perfectly, the drill bit stays perfectly perpendicular to the surface I'm drilling and it's very easy. It's just You get everything lined up and then all you have to do is pull a lever and add a little oil. As you can see, we're not going very quickly. We've been drilling for a while and hardly made a dent in the surface of the stainless steel. The stainless steel is about three millimeters thick, so this is gonna take a while. It's worth it though, because the drill bits are rather expensive and going slowly and using oil and everything, which seems like a whole lot of rigmarole, stretches out the life of the drill bit, which in turn stretches out your dollar because you don't have to buy as many drill bits. If you just went at this dry, full speed, and full force, you'd pop a hole in the stainless steel plate pretty quickly, and the drill bit would be dead after one drilling. Now I personally like to keep my work field clean, and there's a lot of debris coming out, so I decided I'd just stop everything, clean it off, and then add new oil, and just be able to see what I'm doing. a little divot made it makes it easier to position the oil. You just put a little bit of oil in there and then as you bring the drill press down it'll actually scoot the plate into where it goes because of the conical hole and then you start adding pressure and add a little more oil to keep everything cool and lubricated. As we make our way down through the steel you'll start to see filings start shooting out which means that you're actually getting somewhere and not just polishing the surface of the stainless. We're starting to make some more way here you can see more of the shavings coming out and we're just keeping it lubricated as we keep pushing down to make our hole. As soon as we see some smoke starting to come out, we just slow up a little bit, add some more oil, let things cool off, and then power it again. It's quite a slow process, but it'll save the drill bit and then we'll be able to make more holes. In this case, we're making eight holes in the stainless steel plate, so I'd like to stretch out the life of this drill bit. This is a pretty slow process, so I'm gonna speed it up.
all the other holes drilled. We're on the last one now, so we're just going to push through it a little faster and just use a ton of oil just to keep things cool and lubricated. So we'll see how that goes. Now we've drilled all these holes and I can tell you, the drill bit feels as sharp on this hole as it did on the first hole. So going slow with a lot of oil and very light pressure does save the drill bit and makes it last a lot longer. If we tried to do this without oil, and especially with a hand drill, it just wouldn't last at all. We'd probably get one hole per drill bit, and that'd be a very expensive project to drill all these eight Remember, holes. when you see smoke, it means you need to add more oil and lighten up on the pressure. I'm getting a lot of smoke now, so you can see I'm adding more oil just to try and keep it cool. But with all the friction, it's just burning the oil right away, and it's all coming out of smoke. If this were in the beginning stages of this project, I would have slowed down let off the pressure, let things cool down, and then proceed. But since this is our last hole, and I'd like to get done, we're just going to power through it with a lot more oil. Look how hot that drill bit is. You better let that cool before you try and take it out of the truck. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope that you will like this video and subscribe to our channel for uh, updates on our adventures. And when you subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell. That way you'll get notifications as soon as the next video is uploaded. Thank you so much.